the first important realization is that a prisoner requires a spiritual awakening. If there is no spiritual awakening, then he is going to do exactly what he did earlier in the universe. After he is here. And I can't think of a better method of spiritual awakening than to follow the rule given by the father of my great nation, Indian, Mahatma And the rule given by this great leader was the holding of prayer meeting every day. And at those prayer meetings, what was read was from different scriptures so that a feeling of fraternity came among everybody. Everybody realized that everybody else's faith was as valid as his own. Now imagine if in the day you were the first to read from the Old Testament, let's say from the Psalm of King David, and prisoners were to be told that they will lift up by his time and that the help is coming to them and that the help is coming from God. All that the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want to be important. Because he provides everything. Make it big like a for green pastor, he provides everything that can help us still more than this. Imagine being told about the Sermon on the Mount and that the weak and not the violent can inherit there. Most important. That you turn the other cheek when violence is pointed out to which is nothing but the basic principle of the great language, ahimsa, which has been taught to mankind for thousands of years. We have much more about that. Imagine being told, for example, about the four noble truths of the Buddha. It was like an immediate elementary right? Suffering is something which exists. And in order to get rid of suffering, what one must do is to channel the hand, turn it off, turn it off, and that will be my power of the day. Imagine being told about the great Sikh faith and our Sikh brethren who have been giving us much every day in this parliament. The actual practical demonstration of love for a fellow in their two great things, Randa and Karaka, where whether you happen to be the richest and most powerful of the world and small world, all of you will stand to serve them. Imagine also that you will be told among the big groups of the Bhagavad Gita from the Hindu. Namely, that you are all bound in the coils of action. You cannot get away from action. So what you must do is to renounce the fruits of it. Imagine being we told about the great fruits from the Holy Quran, that God is the God of justice, but he is also merciful, he is also compassionate. Imagine being we told about the great fruits from my reason, the Zoroastrian reason. The simple, the profound, holy drive, good thoughts, good words, good people, and this comes in a verse of the Gata, stating that he was instructed about this after he actually saw God to the point of life. Now this, and let us say the wisdom literature of the Bhagavad Gita, you can that also represent in this part. Confucius will often say, that it is important to abandon your fear and very important to realize that if you see right and you do not do it, you back back. That also, example, the example also said that it is important not to be violent and right, it is important to be passive, to accept what nature holds up so that you may live peaceably. which is from the sayings of one of our many great chief priests, 
who lived about 1700 years ago. A man called Adarpan Maharashtra. And he said things which were deep prisoners here that he said, for example, that what is punished unless you are accompanied to this country? Because even a terrorist is a very good person. That is not a wise person, because he doesn't tell me. That you can achieve the same thing by non violent effort. So to repeat, damage must always be accompanied by wisdom. Second, Intelligence by vision. Now there's no point being intelligent and losing it and perfect converting matter. For which you are not into it. You must have the vision to realize that you will be in jail and that you should quit for that reason. But also that you should do something good because it's intrinsic intrinsically important to do something good in itself. Then you also have a beautiful saying. That there isn't much point in having a good thought unless it actually transmutes itself into a good thing. Because the good thought is only one way to do something that you think. But it's the good thing that benefits both of them, both the doer and the doer. And finally, how it is extremely important when you are wealthy to be business. Now, I would only pray that Mahatma Gandhi's vision and Mahatma Gandhi's spirit would enter every single prison war all over the world so as to create a spiritual awakening to each prisoner. Because each prisoner is in prison because his spirit has been left untouched. And it is in jail that this great spiritual awakening can take place if we follow the Gandhi. And if we do so, we will all look forward for better tomorrow. Thank you all very much.